1240 before us. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Juliet Juliet. It is moved and seconded that Juliet Juliet be adopted. Senator Peterson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, this is a simple amendment that aligns the definition of import uh, with what we did uh, on the high capacity magazines bill last year, essentially allowing folks to take an existing uh, weapon out of state and bring back the same weapon into state. Urge your support. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion on this? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The amendment is adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Kilo Kilo. It has been moved and seconded that Kilo Kilo be adopted. Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This amendment removes independent grips, flash suppressors, and threaded barrels from the characteristics that describe uh, in the bill an assault weapon. These accoutrements are normal parts of modern sporting rifles and they increase safety and accuracy and particularly with respect to a threaded barrel which allows you to attach a, a noise suppressor which is better for the safety of the shooter. Um, I think these are important characteristics that need to be retained as part of a normal modern firearm. Thank you, Senator Wagner. I'm gonna ask um, for a no vote um, on this amendment. Um, the, the underlying bill aligns those characteristics in, in the same way in which other states define assault weapons. And um, these are features that many times allow a shooter to fire large numbers of rounds quickly. And um, again, these are dangerous and have been used to take people's lives in mass shootings, and so I'm gonna ask for a no vote. Senator Wagner. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, I would just like to say that with, uh, with respect to the threaded barrel and the, which accommodates a sound suppressor, I'm not aware of a single mass shooting incident in which a sound suppressor was used. Any other comments? All those in favor of accepting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. 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 The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Lima Lima. It has been moved and seconded that Lima Lima be uh, adopted. Senator Wagner. Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. So this just provides an exception for sound suppressors, which I alluded to um, in the last amendment, so that they're in compliance with federal law. Um, sound suppressors are monitored under a very strict um, policy by federal law. It takes sometimes up to a year or more. They are vetted well. They're also expensive items. So I uh, urge adoption of this amendment. Sound suppressors keep sa shooters safe by protecting their ears, protecting the ears of uh, dogs if they're around them and, uh, um, and children who happen to be in the area. So it's entirely a safety measure. I urge adoption. Thank you, Senator Wagner. Senator Kudrin. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I'm going to urge a no vote on this amendment. Um, you know, silencers are inherently dangerous devices that shooters can use to suppress the sound of gunfire and mask muzzle flash. Uh, these are deadly accessories and accessories, and they have been regulated effectively since the 1930s. Yet, we've seen with the gun lobby that they've made concerted efforts to make it easier to buy and sell silencers. Um, silencers put law enforcement and the public at grave risk by making it more difficult to identify nearby gunshots and locate an active shooter, and they should not be wi widely available to civilians. Um, and I think there are other ways of protecting our hearing um, when you are shooting a gun. Uh, and um, I'm going to urge a no vote on this amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator Kudrow. Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So uh, the term silencer is a misnomer. It does not silence the rifle. It merely suppresses the sound to a much safer level. Um, and, and there are other ways to protect your hearing. Those are usually used in conjunction with a sound suppressor. Um, 
foamies for your ears, and most uh, target shooters use double hearing protection, even when they're using a suppressor. But the sound suppressor um, is very valuable when you're hunting because nobody has on uh, hearing protection at that time. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment, Mike, Mike. It's moved and seconded that Mike, Mike be adopted. Uh, Senator Patton. Yes, uh, when this bill was making its way over through the House, I think there was a bipartisan agreement to have some time for these businesses to get rid of their inventory. Right now, there's an emergency clause on, on, on this, and... Uh, these are, whether some people like them or not, the, these are legitimate uh, businesses throughout our state. And I hope it's not the intent to go after them and punish them for being in existence or something. Um, and they need, they need time to do that. I told the chair about uh, a non-related type of business that my father had uh, before he died with... Uh, selling selling uh, steel from a warehouse and how he gave uh, my, my little sister directions on how to liquidate it uh, a a after he died and you know a certain price for a certain time then you wait a little longer so I, I mean that would be normal for any business so and I think 180 days is a reasonable amount of time and some of these businesses have uh, large inventories that they will have to liquidate, so urge your support. Thank you, Senator Padden, and uh, yes, we did have a discussion um, about that, and I know there are lots of other discussions that we're a part of. I think we do have to come up with a strategy for those small businesses who don't have the ability to send their inventory out of state. I do think that this uh, amendment, however, does not get us there. This is something we're gonna continue to work on. Um, I have full faith that there will be an amendment on the floor that addresses small businesses and the inventory that they have and, ha and a strategy around how to make sure that our businesses are um, held harmless. But for now, I'm gonna ask for a no vote on this amendment. Senator Patton? Yes, I always say, well, if you're gonna do that, that's fine, but let's adopt the amendment. We're the policy committee, so let's adopt something here now and then if you do want to change it, um, you, you can later, but to leave the bill without any protection for these small businesses, I think would be a mistake. Any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor of the amendment say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. 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 The amendment does not, uh, is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment November, November. It's moved and seconded that November and November be adopted. Um, Senator Wilson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This, uh, this particular amendment removes the telescoping stock from the description, included in the description of the assault weapon. Um, these, are, these stocks are, make a, a firearm, particularly as such as an AR-15, very much easier for women and smaller people of stature that to actually use these guns in self-defense. Uh, it makes it just the ability to adjust the stock makes the gun fit you better so that you have better control of the firearm. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with shooting a gun faster or the bullets coming out any faster. It just is makes it safer for the for the, for me to shoot the the firearm um, half of the new gun owners in 2020 were women and a fifth of those were black women so um, women are looking for protection and these stocks help them to fit their firearm size which increases the safety thank you thank you senator Kudra. thank you madam chair i'm going to urge a no vote on this amendment um uh, these features are listed in the bill because of how dangerous they are, and they align with the characteristics and other states' definition of assault weapons. Um, I've really never, I'm not aware of any instance of self-defense where an AR-15 uh, was used, uh, and I'm not certain that um, 
this type of um, uh, characteristic would even be of benefit in that kind of a situation. Um, I, I do think that what we're dealing with here is um, we're going backwards in terms of our uh, gun safety laws in our country. We're making it much more easy, easy to access uh, uh, these assault weapons and uh, weapons in general. And the death toll is a damning uh, commentary on the fact that, the, that we're doing that. And I think that we have to start taking stock in what we're doing and also equally importantly in what we're not doing. And this is a step in the right direction and I'm gonna ask for a no vote on, on this amendment because I do feel that, that the telescoping stock and the folding or telescoping stock uh, is, is not something that, um, that we need to have with, with that, we, that we should take out of this bill. Uh, like I said, it's there for a reason because of how dangerous it is. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I want to make an analogy of getting into a car when the seat is either too far back or too far forward for you. The seat's adjustable because it makes it easy and safer to operate the vehicle. This is the same with an adjustable butt. If, the, if a firearm's too long for you, it's not as easy to control, therefore less safe. If it's too short for you, it's not as easy to control, therefore less safe. This is an important technological advance, I'll call it, in firearms. Um, it used to be you had to have your stock, a wooden stock, cut down to fit you so it fits one person or maybe several people who are of the same stature. This allows a firearm to be used safely by any purchaser. Urge adoption. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment. Oscar, Oscar. It has been moved and seconded that Oscar, Oscar be adopted. Uh, Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This amendment would just require a study to be done by our military department on um, the lethality and the type of weapons that should be considered military weapons. So uh, clearly, this is a topic that is rife with um, emotion, and we hear a lot of inflammatory rhetoric from my perspective, I will say that. Other people think that that is factual. So you shouldn't take my position. You shouldn't take somebody else's position. We ha should have somebody look at this carefully and give us the data. I heard um, lots of testimony that uh, so-called assault weapons like an AR-15 are designed weapons of war for mass killing. In my opinion, nothing could be further from the truth, and I have experience with them and experience um, in the military. I was in the United States Marine Corps as a second lieutenant, had an opportunity to use lots of weapons of war. They are nothing like these modern sporting rifles. I think a good study by our military department would bring that fa fact to life, but I could be wrong. Let's put it out there and let's let some experts define these terms for us so that we're not just going back and forth on what one side or the other feels is true. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask for a no vote. Um, the number of mass shootings in this country are at such a record high. Um, I think there's enough data, enough information nationally as well as internationally on what unfortunately has become such a US-based phenomenon that um, we have to take action. And uh, I'm gonna ask for a no vote on this amendment. Any further discussion? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. 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 The amendment is not adopted. Um, Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment, Papa, Papa. It has been moved and seconded that Papa, Papa be adopted. Uh, Senator Wilson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So uh, 
when the sponsor came in and, and was speaking to his bill, he admitted that he really didn't have much knowledge about firearms. So I asked him if his his uh, uh, desire was to not only um, prohibit the modern sporting rifle, but the um, fire semi-automatic handguns. And these shrouds on this amendment is basically removing the word, uh, the characteristic of shroud from the so-called assault rifle or assault pistol. Um, nearly all of the semi-automatic handguns have a slide over the barrel, and that slide does not that does not necessarily there for, in fact, if you held it, your hand would probably, your thumb and all would get chopped up if because that slide comes back every time you shoot it. So you don't hold on to that. But it is included as a characteristic of an assault pistol. And if you use that along with nearly every single semi-automatic firearm having a detachable magazine, now you've just eliminated a whole lot of, of semi-automatic handguns. So I'm the definitions in A through C uh, are extremely vague and unclear, potentially capturing many popular and common models of semi-automatic pistols over features that serve a legitimate purpose, like threaded barrels and a shroud that encircles all or part, either all or part of the barrel and without enhancing or modifying the dangerous nature of the firearm. So Firearms, ha uh, handguns are used all the time in defensive situations. And um, to remove these would be to remove the inalienable right to one's ability to defend themselves. And so I'm asking for this to be removed. Thank you. Uh, Senator Kuder? Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm going to urge a no vote uh, on this amendment. You know, it, these amendments dealing with taking out one feature uh, uh, of the definition, I mean, these features in and of themselves are not the issue. It's when they're used in combination with other features that make them so deadly. And shrouds are used in combination with other characteristics, which is why they're in this bill. Um, you know, and, and for example, the semi-automatic handgun that was used during the Columbine shooting had a barrel shroud. So these specified features are intentionally identified in the bill because of how dangerous they are, especially in combination with other ones. Um, and I think that, you know, um, and, I, and, and I think that we need to understand that what we're talking about is the, the ability to combine so many of these features to make these weapons so much more deadly to kill so many more people so so quickly doesn't give people a chance. Uh, and again, I think we're going backwards. I think we're regressing in terms of our gun safety policy. And this is a step moving us forward to, to true public safety, helping, uh, um, helping our communities heal from this terrible scourge of gun violence. And I'm gonna urge a no vote. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. So, thank you. Uh, okay, I think we might have gotten a little off track here, but I was talking about this the shroud on the semi-automatic handgun. And unless there is an absolute intention to ban handguns, then we need to work on the description here, If that's unless that's exactly what you wanna do. Thank you. Okay, seeing no further discussion, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. 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 The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Quebec, Quebec. It is moved and seconded that Quebec, Quebec be adopted. Uh, Senator Wilson. Thank you, Madam Chair. This is, uh, if, if we're going to do this, then I think we need to have some accountability and understand uh, if the, if, if these, Assault weapons, modern sporting rifles, common usage. Uh, if those are actually going to, re it, it, at the end, I want to know if they are actually reducing deaths, right? By banning these guns, I want to know that there have been less people, um, that the rate of death is, is less than what they are right now. 
Thank you, Senator Wilson. I'm going to ask for a no vote on this. We have data from when our, uh, when these were banned nationally in our country, and we have data on the number of tests that happened before, during, and after. So I'm going to ask for a new, no vote on this amendment. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. 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 The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment, Romeo, Romeo. It is moved and seconded that Romeo, Romeo be adopted. Senator McCune. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, I, I believe there's no good reason to uh, be taken, uh, putting on the emergency clause on, on this bill. Um, I remember uh, Representative Barbara Bailey in the House uh, over the years would run amendments on every single bill that it was put on, and most of them were all taken off, because there's no good reason for this. It's gonna damage our small business. Uh, they can't get their life and business is in order. Most small businesses are probably gonna go out of business because of their sales or go down low enough. And especially if they've been hit by COVID and um, they were damaged then, and they'll, they'll be damaged more by the sales of uh, rifles. And um, also, I, I think maybe the, the reason we have this clause on there, because if we might want to take away the right for a referendum of the people to have a referendum. And uh, that is a terrible right to take away, because um, I, I think the people probably would run a referendum on this. Uh, um, bill and uh, constitutionally they'd, they'd win this thing. So I ask you for a yes vote, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator McEwen. I'm gonna ask for a no vote. Um, since session has started, we've had a, a, we have had such large numbers of mass shootings, including yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna ask for a no vote on this amendment. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay, the amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment, Romeo, Romeo. It's been moved and seconded that Romeo, Romeo be adopted. I'm sorry, I think we're on. Oh, my, did I do the wrong one? Sierra, Sierra? Sierra, Sierra. My apologies. I move adoption of the amendment, Sierra, Sierra. Um, it's moved and seconded that Sierra, Sierra be adopted. Uh, Senator McCune. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Well. I happily don't see any reason to be uh, banning semi-automatic shotguns. Um, they're widely used in sport shooting. Uh, every range has keat shooting, keat shooting on it, and uh, it's one of the most popular things uh, to do from all over my district, where all the ranges I have. Um, it also is used in competition shooting. Uh, it's uh, used widely used, and uh, people actually make money uh, with their uh, shotguns, semi-automatic shotguns. And um, I, I don't see these being used, what you call assault weapons, because assault means you have to use a weapon to have an assault, but it's not really an assault weapon. Um, a weapon can't be just called that. And, uh, the, that's the name you put on it. So anyways, I think uh, the video industry and the TV industry have made uh, a semi-automatic shotgun uh, on their shows. They've done a very destructive uh, thing to the health and safety of our, of our society by using these semi-shotguns in their shows and glorifying them as well. So I, I see no reason to do this because, they're, like I say again, they're widely used, they're a safe gun, they don't shoot very far, um, they're not, they don't go a mile, they don't go two miles, they're very short range, um, uh, and um, I think probably everybody owns one that, that's in the sporting, um, in this, uh, industry that want to go out and do shooting. Um, I know I do, uh, and I have a lot of fun with mine, but it basically goes to the range and have fun and have competitions as well. So I ask you to pass this amendment, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, Senator McCune. Uh, Senator Kudra? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm going to urge a no vote on this amendment. Um, all but one of the states that restrict assault weapons 
include semi-automatic shotguns with specified features in the list of prohibited firearms, and it should stay in this bill. Thank, Thank you, Madam you. Chair. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Aye. No. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Tango Tango. It's been moved and adopted that Tango Tango be adopted. Senator Wilson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So um, when I was reading through this intent section, um, I was appalled. And this, uh, to declare that these modern sporting rifles are specifically marketed as weapons that as tactical, hyper-masculine, and military style in a manner that overtly appeals to troubled young men intent on becoming the next, next mass shooter is unbelievable that this is in a bill from the legislature. These are not, uh, these manufacturers do not market these, these firearms for this reason. Uh, I would say that it's a direct offense to the millions of legal gun owners uh, of modern sporting pistols or, or firearms. Um, this entire current intent section is full of misinformation, and I won't read it now, but it has been rewritten with the intent section that better explains the problems in our society that are causing the, 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 the violence that we're seeing now. We are going backwards in the state of Washington with, with, uh, we're, we're, with sentencing, it's, we're going soft on crime. That's the reason why our, our um, violence is getting higher and higher in Washington state. We, have, we are fifth in the nation with firearm restrictions and our crime is still skyrocketing. So there's other reasons and we need to figure them out. Thank you, I'm gonna ask for no vote um, on this. The intent section is helpful to explain the purpose of the law. And um, possession of guns and our crime is actually not really related. Um, so the intent is important to make sure we understand why the law is being um, offered and uh, it is relevant to make sure that the courts can examine um, the intent and again, relevance to the reason why the legislature is doing what it's doing. So I'm gonna ask for a no vote on this. Yes, Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, I agree with you, Madam Chair, that the intent is important and that's why it's important to get it right. Um, Senator Wilson's instinct uh, mirrored my own. Not only do I feel it is full of technical inaccuracies. It's also full of rhetoric that is insulting to me as a gun owner. And uh, I think we could do a much better job if this is passed into law in addressing the real problems that we're trying to solve without vilifying um, either gun manufacturers or gun owners. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay, no. the amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment uniform, uniform. It's moved and seconded that uniform, uniform be adopted. Senator Wilson. Thank you, Madam Chair. So this, this one just excludes A and C for the firearms of uh, handguns because it is so poorly written that it does include those, and again, unless it is absolutely intentional. The threaded barrels are used to mount a flash or sound suppressor, su suppressor which does uh, help with the uh, hearing and of the, both the user and uh, if you're hunting, um, you could, those of your uh, dog, uh, and the flash, the flash is also um, to predict your eyesight. And so both of these are safety um, parts of these guns. And that's the reason why I think if you, unless you want to, um, you, you want to actually prohibit then the firearms, then we should be removing those pieces. Thank you. 
Thank you, Senator Patton. I mean, sorry, Senator <laughs> Cooter. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm going to urge a no vote on this uh, amendment. Um, the threaded barrel, um, as I said before, uh, the semi-automatic handgun that was used in the Columbine shooting had a barrel shroud attached to it. And they're necessary only when you're firing many, many rounds in succession. They were actually banned in the 1994 Federal Act because Congress found that they were designed for warfare and not sporting activities. Uh, there was the Monterey Park shooting in California last month that included um, both a threaded barrel and the ability to accept a detachable magazine. And the gunman was able to kill 11 people and injured nine others. Um, so I think including these provisions in the bill, again, was intentional and captures the most dangerous weapons in our uh, communities. And so for those reasons, I'm urging a no. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment. Victor, Victor. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded that Victor Victor be adopted. Now, Senator Patton. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Yeah, this uh, removes the emergency clause, but uh, on the condition that it provides the bill takes effect when the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal interprets and applies uh, the law, which they would do under the U.S. Supreme Court of Bruin. And it's not a hypothetical thing. Uh, perhaps... Uh, you're aware that the Miller v. Bonta case is currently pending, awaiting the decision maybe this week, maybe next, but very shortly dealing with uh, California's assault weapon ban that is uh, extremely similar. I, I don't know if the language in this bill was taken from California, but it appears that it's extremely similar. So that is pending. Judge Benitez should be issuing an opinion uh, shortly, and uh, we'll, you know, I think it would be prudent to do that rather than spend uh, tons of money uh, fighting illegal battles here. Thanks. Thank you uh, so much for that, Senator Padden. I'm going to ask for a um, no vote. This creates an indefinite effective date, and we already know from the number of uh, mass shootings we continue to see in our community that this is something that is needed uh, right away. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment whiskey, whiskey. It's been moved and seconded that whiskey, whiskey be adopted. Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So this amendment is similar to the first amendment uh, proffered by Senator Peterson. Um, I don't believe that it conflicts. And my intent in offering this amendment, I was thinking about um, military families who leave the state, sometimes for a, a protracted period of time, but when they retire and come home, um, they should be able to bring their personal property back into the, into the state. I think I may have missed it. I may offer at another time one that uh, makes an exception just for military folks who want to retire here. But for now, I hope that you will support this amendment. Thank you. Senator uh, Peterson. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I would recommend a no vote on this amendment. Uh, the second and third parts of the amendment we were already adopted in Amendment JJ that we considered first on this bill. The first part of the amendment, because it amends the broader definition of import, would fall outside of both the title and the scope of the bill. And so I would ask for a no. Thank you so much. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment X-ray, X-ray. It has been moved and seconded that X-ray, X-ray be adopted. Uh, sorry, Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This amendment would uh, simply change the limit of overall length that is currently in the bill of 30 inches, which I think is somewhat arbitrary, to a 
length of 26 inches, which I also so think is arbitrary, but at least it falls under the National Firearms Act. So it's consistent in that respect, and it would keep us consistent with the national law. And, and why I think it's a problem, um, in particular, target rifles for youth, commonly called a youth target rifle, are often made shorter. We, we talked about adjustable stocks earlier, but some of them are made statically shorter to fit children so they can um, learn to handle and shoot a firearm properly. Uh, I think that if we leave it at 30 inches, we may exclude a number of those youth target rifles. Thank you, Senator Wagner. Senator uh, Trudeau. Uh, thank you so much. Respectfully requesting a no vote on this. I think what we've seen um, historically is that when you set a number that the gun manufacturers um, will actually adjust their number to make sure that they're exempt from the bill. So uh, just uh, requesting a no vote. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Yeah. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment, Yankee, Yankee. It is moved and seconded that Yankee, Yankee be adopted. Senator Patton. Yes, uh, this, this amendment uh, came to me o over the weekend. I was contacted by a business in Cinder Billings District right next to mine, uh, a gun shop, and they indicated they had a contract with the Kitsap County Sheriff to provide, uh, you know, firearms to the sheriff. In return, they were going to be sending uh, firearms that would become illegal under this bill that were worth about $80,000 of the uh, purchase price. So a significant amount of money uh, to a small business. This would just give an exemption for that. Would urge your support. Thank you, Senator um, Padden. And I'll just say what I said during the last similar amendment is that this is um, an issue where we have multiple ideas circulating at this point in time. And there will be a solution for the floor that um, encompasses specifically uh, the small businesses who don't have the ability to send the inventory out of state. So at this time, I'm going to ask for a no vote. I also believe the 180 days is far too long a time frame uh, to get this accomplished. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. No. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Zulu Zulu. It's been moved and seconded that Zulu Zulu be adopted. Um, Senator Wilson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, this is again reiteration of a couple of the other ones, but um, this removes a muzzle brake as a characteristic of semi-automatic centerfire rifle, which is used to define an assault weapon. Um, muzzle brakes help to dampen the recoil and uh, keep the muzzle steady. They also increase the concussion felt by the firearm user. Again, these are tools designed to protect the firearm user. The existence changes very little in accuracy or lethality or the velocity of a firearm. Thank you so much. Senator Kruger. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm going to urge a no vote on this amendment. Um, the muzzle brake was first introduced for artillery and a common feature on anti-tank guns. It can serve as an alternative to a suppressor, and as a result, that makes it difficult to detect the direction of an active shooter. And as I said before, uh, in combination with other uh, characteristics, it makes it a very lethal um, accessory. And so for these reasons, I'm asking for a no vote. Senator Wagner. Yeah, urging support of the amendment. A muzzle brake in a, in a modern sporting rifle keeps the muzzle down so that it doesn't fly up high uh, uh, when you fire. And it's very important in hunting when you have to get off that second shot to avoid having an animal wounded and suffering somewhere. They're used in hunting and uh, particularly in long range shots when you fire and want to get that second shot. Thank you, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of amend, uh, adopting the am amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay, the amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move adoption of the amendment Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. 
Thank you. It's been moved and seconded that Alpha 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 be adopted. Senator Wagner. Uh, thank you, Ma Madam Chair. What this amendment would do was would take out the rhetorical term um, assault weapon and replace it with modern sport rifle. Uh, we talked about the intent section and how at least some of us feel that is inflammatory language. I think this brings us back to what is a a commercially understood term that modern shooters use. It's a modern rifle. Takes away the rhetoric, rhetoric and, and you can do this with any product. You can make it sound bad if you give it a, a bad enough name. And I'll use as an example, uh, lots of people are injured in vehicular accidents. If I started calling uh, automobiles rolling death chariots, and we just repeated that over and over and over, and I put that in intense sections or in bills like this, it gives you a completely different flavor. So let's call them what they are. They're modern sporting rifles, and in the hands of law-abiding citizens, they are a tool and a form of recreation. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Wagner. I'm going to ask for a no vote on this. This term dates back 30 years. This is not a new um, word or phrase that's been used. It's been consistently used by courts, state legislatures, and the public. Um, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. The amendment is not adopted. Madam Vice Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move that the amendment be rolled into a striking amendment and that substitute House Bill 1240 as amended receive a due pass recommendation and be sent to the Rules Committee. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion on final passage? Senator uh, Trudeau. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I believe all of us have uh, have learned about the news of the mass shooting that happened um, with six dead in Nashville, Tennessee. And I offer this not to be inflammatory, not to uh, poke at the other side um, on this issue, but to recognize that often we talk about thoughts and prayers every time there is a mass shooting. And I would like the opportunity to just read the names really quickly of the six people dead yesterday who used a weapon that we actually had two of the weapons that um, would fall under this definition in that mass shooting. This was an elementary school and the children were nine years old. The, the children attending that school were between the ages of three and 11. That's Evelyn Dickhouse, Ali Scruggs, William Kenny. Those were the children killed. The adults were Cynthia Peak, Catherine Kuntz and Mike Hill. And so while we can sit and debate all we want about the uh, individual features when the bill actually talks about a combination of features um, used in these, uh, in these mass shootings, and I've studied this for, for a number of years, I am here making this comment as a mother of small children and who fears every day that moment when my kid is going to come and ask me why uh, they are preparing for the next mass shooting as many of our children do throughout the elementary schools across the state. It's not okay that we've normalized a gun culture and I believe that we should recognize and appreciate that we have an opportunity to do more today than thoughts and prayers. We have an opportunity to take action today as a legislature and I grieve for those children. I know we all grieve for those children um, and I would just urge support of this bill so we can actually do something other than just sharing our thoughts and prayers. Thank you very much. Thank you Senator Trudeau. Senator McCune. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Well, it's, I didn't think this would be brought up, but um, uh, it's a really sad situation that happened in Tennessee and uh, Nashville. But this woman that actually did the shooting had a plan and planned it out for a long period of time. She had hate in her heart. You read the stories of that. Uh, she actually went to that school. She graduated from that school. I say enough to diploma, getting her diploma. What changed her life? I have no clue. She must have had mental health problems. So we need to deal with mental health problems. There is a lot more to that story if you read all of it. And there is an agenda she, she wrote down that we haven't seen yet, and hopefully we get to see her agenda that she had planned. And when she went through that front door, it was locked. And she blasted it open for some reason, just shattered it open with the gun and walked in and killed the pastor's daughter. It was sickening to see, 
but we have a mental health problem in the U.S., and we need to deal with that problem, not take guns away from legal citizens. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Senator Patton. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair, and I certainly appreciate the remarks of the good lady from the 27th District, and um, I know everybody here is very sincere in their beliefs, um, and we have different beliefs, but I, 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 I you know, if, if I really thought this was going to make a difference and stop something like what happened in Nashville, um, I, I would support this, but I don't believe that's going to happen. We had in, in, in Nashville a hate crime against Christians. That's what this was. And as uh, Senator McCune said, there definitely appears to be some mental health issues, but we don't know the whole story there. And in any event, we offered a number of amendments that maybe would have improved this bill, but you get back to the, to the whole premise of the bill is that the, the guns by themselves kill people when it's really, of course, the individual have a mental health problem or whatever uh, that are killing, and there are legitimate uses. There are law-abiding uh, gun owners throughout this state, and uh, they um, are, are somewhat targeted under this. Uh, I know the intentions are good, but I, I can't support this bill. Thank you. I'll just add that um, individuals with mental health diagnoses are more likely to be victims of crime than perpetrators of violence. And I'm going to say that once more because it's very critical that we destigmatize mental health and violence. Individuals with a diagnosis of mental illness are more likely to be victims of crime than perpetrators of violence. Mass shooters overwhelmingly have a history of domestic violence. That is more true than their diagnoses of mental illness. So I want to make sure when we're talking about violence that's occurring in our community, that we be clear that violence begets violence. Um, and that individual in Nashville purchased that weapon legally and locally. Any other um, discussion? Senator Cooter? Thank you, Madam Chair. You know, I agree with um, something that Senator Patton and Senator McCune said, that we don't know all the facts here for what happened in Nashville. But one thing we do know, one thing that's a constant in all of these tragedies is the gun. And the easy accessibility of weapons in this country. We know that's part of the problem. And to lay it on everything but access to the gun, I think is being, um, uh, is elevating the Second Amendment above all other um, amendments, including the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we now have yet another tragedy, another school shooting that America is, is known for, sadly. And I do agree with Senator Trudeau that we, we have to stop just saying we're sorry. It's our job to take action. That's our job as legislators. If this doesn't work, I'll be the first to say it. But I do believe that this will work. I do believe that this will keep uh, weapons out of the hands of those who shouldn't have them. And you know, to Senator Dingra's point, the shooter yesterday purchased that gun legally. Most guns used in these shootings are purchased legally. This isn't a, a situation of illegal transfer of weapons. They're, they're per and it's because it's so easy to buy one and get one. And, and in a lot of states now, there's not even a background check or permits, nothing. And like I said, we're going backwards and it's, this is a step forward. This is a step for public safety. It's a step where we're gonna put our kids before killers. And I think we need to do that. Uh, I'm gonna urge a yes vote on the bill. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of um, on, uh, a, yes, uh, 1240. Um, all those in favor of, um, oh gosh, moving um, this bill, please say aye on final passage. Aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. No. 
Subject House Bill 1240, as amended, has received a due pass recommendation and is sent to the Rules Committee subject to signature. Madam Vice Chair, may we have